Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football Michigan heading on the road to play Washington a rematch of the national championship we just saw eight months ago. You look at this Washington team, this has to be the best two loss team that we see in the country. You look at Washington's two losses on the season, you outgain Washington State or have over 100 yards and penalties, you lose that football game. Then you go across the country on the road to Rutgers, you outgain Rutgers 521 to 299 and figure out a way to lose that game. This Washington team is playing very good football, but when the moment is the biggest, they need to figure out how to win football games. Then you look at Michigan, obviously continuing to try to find their rhythm. With Alex. Now, I personally think Michigan took a step in the right direction on offense against Minnesota, obviously just a fourth quarter debacle made that game a little bit closer than it probably should have been. This is going to be a phenomenal football game fired up to get into it. Now, before we do, and as always just want to say thank you to you guys, uh, the amount of support for these preview prediction episodes. It's been amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, much more importantly, let it fly in the comment section. There's a reason this spread is inside of a field goal. I think it's going to be a very competitive football game. So whether you agree with the pick, whether you disagree, would love to hear from you guys in the comments section. And without further ado, let's get into this one. I want to start with this Washington offense going up against the Michigan defense that is not as dominant as it was last year. And I think a lot of the numbers are, are not as good because this Michigan offense has really struggled to stay on the football field at times. This is still a very, very good Michigan defense. We are seeing the flashes that we kind of expect. You look at this Washington offense. This is, I've never seen a split this wide. 22.8 points per game. That's 84th in the country. Now on paper, in terms of scoring offense, this is not a very good offense. You take a look at yards per play, 7.2 yards per play. That is top 15 in the country. We all know what the problems have been with Washington. When you get into the red zone, one, you can miss field goals, but more importantly, you got to score touchdowns. This is one of the worst red zone offenses that we see across the country through the first five weeks of the season. If Washington can figure out how to be a little bit more of a reliable red zone offense, this is a Washington offense that's one of the better offenses in the Big Ten. But again, red zone offense is a massive stat that not a lot of people talk about, but it certainly matters and it has mattered in a massive way against Washington. So the first key we're looking at here is can Washington go score touchdowns when they get into the red zone? Secondly, it, this is a very interesting Washington offense where I feel like they need to ride Jonah Coleman a little bit more. I think Jonah Coleman's one of the best running backs, not only in the big 10, but in the country, the numbers back it up. They're only running the football 48% of the time. That's 93rd in the country but they're running the football for over five and a half yards per carry. That's top 25, specifically Jonah Coleman. Jonah Coleman has 35 missed tackles forced on the season, 21 carries of 10 plus yards. He's averaging six yards per carry after contact. This kid is special at the running back position. And even going back and watching that Rutgers game, it was extremely frustrating that Jonah Coleman was obviously just having his way against Rutgers and they just didn't ride him like I thought they should have ridden him, especially in the red zone. Like that is when you want to have a rushing attack that you can rely on. I think Washington has a rushing attack they can rely on, but it's for some reason just not using, I think, their best player on offense as much as they should be. And Jonah Coleman's this dude, he can handle a workload. And so I, I would like to see Washington ride Jonah Coleman a little bit more. Now the passing attack is Still pretty dang good as well. 75% completion percentage. That's number two in the country, averaging 9.2 yards per pass. That's 16th in the country. This Washington offense doesn't push the ball down the field all that often. You know, Will Rogers, only 30% of his dropbacks or his attempts are going 10 plus yards down the field. This is much more of that offense that we kind of expected Jed Fish to have coming over from Arizona, where the ball's coming out quick. You're trying to get yards after the catch. Denzel Boston, Giles Jackson, two very good wide receivers with the football in their hands. The biggest matchup that I'm looking at is I don't know if Washington, and I know I just went on a little tirade about Jonah Coleman getting more work. I don't know if Washington's going to have a ton of success running at this Michigan defense. It's been one of the best rushing defenses we've seen in the country throughout the first five games. That being said, you look at this Michigan secondary, how did Minnesota 
be able to generate a little offense in the fourth quarter, it was with the quick passing game. Michigan's going to allow you to have some completions. They're only they're giving up a 60% completion percentage to opposing quarterbacks. That's 61st in the country. But what Michigan is very good at is tackling in space. You're only getting six yards per pass. That's top 20 in the country. And so the, the biggest matchup that I see on this football field is, hey, Washington wants to get the quick game going. I think they need to get the quick game going because we're not sure if this offensive line can hold up in pass protection for longer developing routes. So we're going to see Washington try to get the football out of their hands very quickly. Can Michigan come up and tackle? That's the biggest storyline. Over half of the receiving yards Washington has been able to manufacture have come after the catch. Yards after the catch is going to be the, the biggest matchup in this football game with these two units. That and red zone offense. Those are the two things we're looking at there. Now flipping the side, it's, it's no secret that Michigan – wants to run the football, run the football 62% of the time. That's top 15 in the country. That number continues to go up as Alex Orgy continues to run this Michigan offense. And they're running the football damn well, 5.1 yards per carry. That's top 30 in the country. Two really good running backs, right? We just talked about Jonah Coleman, Kalel Mullings running the rock extremely well, over 540 yards, seven yards per carry, 25 missed tackles forced. Again, these, these are both running backs that are very hard to bring to the ground. What defense tackles better is going to be a massive storyline in this game. Now, I think one of the most surprising aspects about this Washington team is specifically their defense. I had a feeling Washington's secondary was going to be pretty dang good. Like it was good on paper heading into 2024. They've been very good, right? A 49% completion percentage allowed. That's number three in the country. 4.8 yards per pass. That's number seven in the country. Dixon, Prysock, Jackson. This is a really hard secondary to throw the football on. I don't think Michigan's going to try to throw the football on this Washington secondary all that much. Now it comes down to can Washington stop this Michigan ground attack? This has been the biggest surprise for Washington. I, the Washington fans that have been rocking with the boys going back to the summer months, you guys kind of know it. I was really nervous about the quality of player, but also the depth that Washington has on the defensive line. I still might have some question marks about the depth, but guys like Sebastian Paul does come in playing really good football. You're getting phenomenal play out of your linebackers too, most notably Carson Bruner. Can this Washington defensive line hold up against what Michigan is going to want to do? Like if you're looking at the biggest key for Michigan, it is can you can you win the Michigan way, which is running the football, controlling the clock, and kind of wearing out a Washington team that I think is better in the front seven than that we thought, but we're not really sure about the depth that this Washington team has. That's probably the biggest question mark. And if you're Sharon Moore, Kurt Campbell, this Michigan offense, you want to make Washington prove that they are deep along the line of scrimmage and can play 60 snaps per game, stopping this Michigan ground attack. If you're Washington, uh, the book the book's out. You stop the rushing game for Michigan. You force them into third and long situations. That is not how Michigan wants to operate. I think we're going to continue to see the emergence of Michigan implementing more diverse run schemes. It was really frustrating, I think, the first start for Alex Orgy, where it just seemed really bland running the football against USC. You saw a little bit more two running back sets. You saw a little bit more... Uh, uh, versatility in terms of how Michigan wants to run the football. And that's really important. Like if you are going to be a Michigan offense, that's running the football 70% of the time, you got to make sure you're running the football in a lot of different ways. You're seeing Michigan develop that. You probably want to see that a little bit more in this game against Washington, because this is a Washington team that's been relatively good against the run 3.6 yards per carry allowed. That's top 40 in the country. It's by far the biggest question mark. If Michigan can run the football, stay on the football field, they probably win this game. If they can't, you know, Washington's probably winning this football game. Let's get into the pick. Two and a half point spread. This is essentially a pick of Michigan first road game of the season, and it is a road trip, right? Going from Ann Arbor to Washington. I I'm going to go Michigan here, and I think this is going to be a really, really competitive game. But when it comes down to it, Washington has yet to show me that they can win these kind of games. This has been a very good football team that hasn't won games when it matters the most. Michigan on the other side is not as good as they were in 2020, uh, 2023 yet, but they've kind of proven that, that they can win some of those football games, right? Most notably against USC. So I'm going to go Michigan here. I think it's going to be an extremely competitive game. It might come down to field goal kicking. And Washington's obviously had a massive problem with kicking field goals. Michigan, on the other hand, 
I think is one of the better field goal kickers in the country. And that's, uh, we don't normally talk about the kicking battle when we're breaking down games, but it's probably going to matter in this football game with Washington and how, how much they've struggled in the red zone. Give me Michigan as dogs on the road at Washington. Going to be a very, very competitive football game. We'll close it out there. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later.